Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 33 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance and Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there you can see we have this uh, circuit, right? And then we have three capacitors, C1, C2, C3, C4. And also the charge Q3 is given. We need to find the charge on each capacitor and the charge and the Voltages across each capacitor and the voltages for from the two point A and B. So we start from the very beginning. A, we can see, um, this chart the C one and C two is a power connection, right? And it can be replaced with the another capacitance C one two. Do you agree? Yes. And uh, capacitors C three and C four is a power connection. And it, the equivalent um, capacitance for C3 and C4, we can write it as C3, 4. Agree? Yes. Now, first one, we look at the charge on each capacitor. So we, we can see the charge on 3 is given. And the capacitor C3 and the capacitor C4 parallel connection. So parallel connection, the potential difference equals, right? So that means the potential difference V3 equal to V4, right? And it just equal to the charge Q3 over C3, agree? So in this way, we can find the potential difference for capacitor 4. So we write it there. If we know the capacitor V4 there, so very straightforward, we can get its charge Q4. How can we get it? We can use the... Capacitance C4 times V4, so capacitance C4 times V4, right? Input V4 inside, so you input all the quantities, get the answer there, right? As we talk about, we can consider for the circuit A to B, it is the series connection for the capacitance C12 with the series connection C34, right? So that means the charge uh, flows. C12 equals the charge flows C34, right? Yes, so this is charges equals, right? And the charges Q34 must be the charge Q3 plus charge Q4, right? So now we input the Q3 and the Q4 inside, we get the answer there. Mm -hmm. Now you can see we get the charge for the capacitor C12, and then we need to find the charge Q1 and the charge Q2. And we know the capacitor C1, C2 equal is a parallel connection. This leads the potential difference V1 equal to V2, right? And we can write the potential as V12 equal to V1 and V2, V1 and V2. And we write it as V12, right? Yes. So that makes the charge go over Q, C, C1 is Q1. Q1 is used the Capacitance C1 times potential difference V1, 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 and then we write it there. Similarly, we can get the charge Q2 as C2 times V12, right? We write it there. And we know this uh, charge Q12 should equal to Q1 plus Q2 there. And then we input Q1, Q2 inside. We get a function for the potential difference V12, right? From this equation, we can get the function for V12 there. As we know, V12 should equal to V1 should equal to V2, right? Now you can see um, for the capacitor C1 and C2, the potential difference is given at zero. Can you find the charge? Sure. We can write the charge very straightforward. Use the C1 times V1 to get the Q1. Use the C2 times V2 to get the Q2. And then input given quantities, you get answer there. In this way, we get the charge on each con um, capacitor. How about the potential difference across each capacitor? So in this part, we can see, uh, we just, from the part A, we just get the charge for Q1 and the charge for Q2, right? So we write it there. And then we can see it tell us the Q3 and the capacitor C3 and the capacitor C4 is a power connection. For power connection, potential uh, difference equals. That makes the V3 equal to V4 equal to Q3 over C3. So it is there, 2.9 volts. And then we can look at there. 
the capacitor C1, C2 is a power connection, so V1 equal to V2, and V straightforward use a charge Q1 over C1, we get it zero, right? Next they want to ask you the voltages for from the point A to B. So how can you do that? As we talk about, we can consider this is the two capacitors C1, 2, and capacitors 3, 3, 4, series connection, right? For series connection, the potential from the A to B just equal to V1, 2, plus V, 3, 4, agree? And then, this V1, 2 is V1, plus the potential difference, V3, 4, equal to V3, right? So this one, you can write it as V1 plus V3, and then get it there. Thank you.